<gasps> She's gonna get murdered. That's why they smash her. Hi, Spike. I left the city and saw what the traveler had described. Among the countless dreams, I found one that was growing fainter and fainter. This proved my suspicion. Once Dinarzad could no longer bear the Akasha harvesting her dream, her consciousness began to dissipate. But this also meant it escaped the Akasha's control. Such a small mm. fragment of consciousness can't mm. last for very long, though. Mm. It will return mm. to its original dream, where both will gradually fade until they completely disappear. I used all the power I had to keep her dying dream alive as long as possible. But it still wouldn't have lasted for much longer if it hadn't been for you two breaking the samsara. So it looks like we did manage to save Dinyarzad in the end. Not a moment too soon. Huh? Why are you two smiling so happily? I thought you'd be so moved that you'd start crying. Hmm. <laughs> I need to spend more time observing human emotions. Both are fine. Everyone reacts differently. All right. You two must have a lot of other questions for me, right? After all, you saved my faithful believer. No, I'm good. Got it. I hope my answers were satisfactory, seekers of knowledge. <sighs> to be honest, maintaining Dunyarzad's fading dream took a lot of mental energy. I think I may need to rest for a while. Oh, and you don't need to worry too much about the sage's activities for now. The Akasha won't be able to conduct another project. On the scale of the Subzerus Samsara, in the immediate future. Go and get some sleep. Leave everything to us. <laughs> what a relief. <sighs> this is truly the most exhausting birthday I've ever had. Uh. Traveler? Paimon? Why am I here? Do either of you know? I? Maybe? Sleepwalking. You know you can't wake up a sleepwalker. We, uh, we happened to walk by, so we thought we'd wait for you to wake up. I see. Huh. I should visit my maintenance personnel sometime. Oh, I'm fine. I better go. Thank you. Oh! She disappeared! Oh, the music. And Astra Abyssosk. We meet again, you two. Hi, Catherine. Do you have any commissions for us today? Yeah. <laughs> Is this what happens? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Let me think. Oh, how about this? Please attend the Academia's Academic Symposium this afternoon and recite a love poem on stage. Uh, wait, oh. Say what now? Okay. And if possible. Please also use your camera to capture the reaction of the audience upon finishing the poem. Huh? What kind of commission is that? I see. It appears that you're not interested in this commission. In that case, please go to Port Armos and convince the Eremites there to spend some time volunteering at the local orphanage. Oh my god. Yeah, like that's gonna happen. Hey, that's not any better. Mm-hmm. I'm sure the mercenaries will have some interesting reactions as well. What? Uh, Paimon's gotta ask. Just who no. exactly has been no, sir. these commissions to the adventure? Who's trying who's trying to who's trying to play with me right now? The commissioner? Mm, well, actually, I just wanted to see the two of you in action. <laughs> well, wasn't it so obvious? I was hoping you'd actually take one of those commissions. That kind of chance to observe humans doesn't come by often. Nahida. Oh my god. I just knew Catherine when it cracked those kinds of jokes. When did you get into her head? Um, from when she said Ad Astra Adasos. So it's been you this whole time? That's crazy. What is happening? Yes. I've been sleeping ever since we parted ways. And I even had a really, really long dream. Was another dream about the 
serious festival. Except it was a happy one. Uh, I don't know about that. Sitting in the middle of a flower terrace. And everyone in Samira City was holding hands as they danced around him. No! I can't see the video. Everyone looked really happy. Well, that's just sad. I also got to sit on a gigantic flower No! Bears, the native flowers, raised me really, really high above the ground. God, this is depressing. Oh my god. Maybe your dream is how the Tajeru's festival really should be. Jeez. That that hits where everyone gets together to celebrate your birthday. Oh my god. That hits harder because I've already seen that from her trailer, and that's just depressing as fuck. Huh? Holy crap. Wasn't I describing a really happy dream? Why are you both looking at me like that? Cause it's not good, man. Could this be an example of the emotion known as pity? No, no. Oh my God. I'm pitying you. Uh. We make everything worse. We just don't want you to feel too sad. By the way, have you had a chance to visit Dunyarzad? How's she doing? The Homiyani's haven't allowed any visitors after the festival, so we haven't been able to check on her. Yes, I paid her a visit right after I woke up. She was resting at the time. Her condition is stabilized. However, since Elazar is a manifestation of the withering of the human body, Ooh. we can only cure it by finding a way to take care of Urban Salt's own withering. Mm. But for the moment, we gotta save the tree. We should still be figuring out what the sages are up to and what they're planning. Right. Who knows what'll happen if they manage to pull off another scheme like the Samsara of the Severus? They're Senate. doing it to her. So our first priority <laughs> should be investigating and putting a stop to the sage's activities. As for how we should pull that off, let's just go sit somewhere else. There are too many adventurers around here. <gasps> Good point. Uh, sorry adventurers. We're going to be borrowing Catherine for a little while. Oh my god. Oh my god. Where's Catherine? <laughs> Catherine? <laughs> Catherine? <laughs> no! I don't like this. <laughs> you have any ideas on how we can investigate the stages? <laughs> Catherine? Actually, I've already done a little bit of work on that. But for now, I want to hear your thoughts. Oh dang it. Why not? It'd be too easy to get caught? No, it's not that. We shouldn't involve innocent students in this. True, true. The safety of my people for my own selfish goals. That's a good point. Spoken like a room. Lame. We're in the dark as of now. Since we still don't know anything about their goals, any rash move could tip them off. And lead to terrible consequences. After all, let me get that shiny. Every person in Samira City is one of their hostages. True. I've already tried that, but all the key members of the academia, even the core of thirty guards, intentionally avoid wearing their Akasha terminal. Dang! So they know. It seems that from the very beginning, they've been guarding against info leaks from the Akasha. Of course. Could also be because they're weary of me. They know. The they know. I'm guessing not yet, but this trusting me would make perfect sense if they've ever paid attention to the urban legends about me. Oh. Case, I probably can't take over their minds directly. Hmm. Are we really out of ideas? Nahida, you're super smart, so you already have something in mind, right? Don't keep us in suspense. According to the theory from the Bahumana Darshan of the Academia, rejecting impractical motions at the beginning of a planning session will give more weight to the actual proposal. Okay. What? Okay. What? But Excuse you me? <laughs> you don't have to use that kind what? of gimmick to make us take your ideas seriously. Well, I've been thinking that if I can't directly possess the leaders, and if I can't get ordinary people involved, then I should find someone who's already involved, but hasn't decided to side with the sages. You're saying we should recruit a spy? Hmm. The dude. That does sound like it could work. Daddy man. Oh, before coming back, there you go. Someone named Daddy man. He seems like he acts alone, and he likes doing 
stuff behind the academia's back. They probably aren't in cahoots. No cahoots here. Actually, I already have someone in mind. Do you still remember that female scholar named Sataria? Nope. Sataria. Who? Paima remembers now. Isn't she the one who's always trailing behind the grand sage of the academia? Oh, just we her second hand. Every time the Subzer was festival repeated itself. We're old enemies. <laughs> Yeah, she sucks. <laughs> Possess her. Always liked observing all kinds of people, and Sitaria has always stood out from the crowd. She was born in the desert and was hailed as their greatest genius. Her academic gifts allowed her special admission into the academia, and also gave her the opportunity to serve as the sage's assistant. Oh, I haven't watched it. No, she was from the desert. She must be pretty special then. Paima feels like most of the desert dwellers around the city are working as mercenaries. The name Sitaria means star. When she lived in the desert, uh oh, she shone like the brightest star in the night sky. Wow. Later on, Damn. she was chosen by the sun. The star was given a place in the daytime sky to complement the sun's dazzling light. Soon after. The star witnessed the sun scorching the earth, which brought forth many disasters. The star began to waver. Instead of staying beside such a sun, wouldn't it be better to return and light a part of the night sky? But in the end, she couldn't give up the radiance of daytime. To cope with her shame, the star buried her guilt and closed her eyes. From the well, dang! Satari has been hung up on the research opportunity here. But she doesn't really support the academia. She still feels guilty about not doing more for the desert, right? She's just running away from her problems. Indeed. Some deep stuff in this storyline. With complex moral issues, many people will simply plug their ears and go with the flow until the problem can't be fixed anymore. She's suppressing a lot of guilt. Yep. But before she realized it, she had already become the sage's accomplice. She can't deny her part in their schemes anymore. All right, let's go get her. We must somehow make her face her problems again. That way, not only can we get useful intel from her, but she can also use it as an opportunity to redeem herself. From my past observations, Sataria will take a day off from the academia every 10 days to do some shopping in the city. Tomorrow afternoon just happens to be a shopping day for her. That will be our chance. Let's it's do it. Let's go check out some of her favorite spots. And have a quick chat with a few of the vendors there. Cool. Wee. This should be Sataria's favorite fortune telling spot. Uh, so should we ask the fortune teller about Sataria? No, I already have enough information on Sataria. The most important thing now is for you to pay attention to the vendor's talking style and key characteristics. Talking style and key characteristics? My poor lost lambs. Have you become troubled over your fate? The divine voice of wisdom often echoes between my ears. Oh. And thou be blessed today by the gods. I may be able to show you the way. Huh? Really? Nagira, you've been whispering things to her? <laughs> My friend here has some doubts regarding her future. Can we get a fortune reading for her? I love... So Catherine's voice is, um... Mm. <laughs> of course. Aladdin of course. from Maggie. It's my favorite... Like, almost what, like one of my favorite voice actors. The, um, English voice actors oh. is Catherine. It would seem that Haruk and Maruk are quite wary of Cats. Perhaps at some time in the past, you have somehow offended the gods. Hmm. Only mocking the god of Animo, questioning the lord of Geo's financial savviness, and brawling with the god of Electro. Do those count? Yeah. I've had some oh, issues nothing. with them. Go on. Pick an aspect for her to divine. Love. Yeah. Love. No problem at all. Am I gonna fall in love? Oh. 
<laughs> the gods have spoken. The truth shall be revealed. Tell me, young child. The one who is fated to cross your path will appear on... On... Huh? So... So many people will vote for you. <laughs> <laughs> Marit, did you two spoil my divination? I've never read a fortune so absurd. I'm hot, all right? No. Uh, Listen, I'm really hot. My man thinks this is probably the most accurate fortune telling you've ever done. <clears throat> I admit pretty hot. the orientation of today's celestial matrix is uh, suboptimal. As such, there will be no charge. Thanks. Because I'm so? hot. Because I'm super hot. That can't be helped. If you were to bring some food offerings for Hart and Mart on your next visit, perhaps they could help you reverse the wheels. Why would I want that reversed? Why would I want that reversed? Why would I do that? I'm not dumb. Slay thinks I'm dumb. Where am I going? Hello? What? You were not there a second ago. a lot when she first moved to Sumeri City. So she still comes by whenever she has time. When I start talking with them, listen carefully to the details of her conversation. He looks like a douchebag. Would you like to look at some pottery? Well, we caught wind of your great craftsmanship, so we specifically came to take a look. Oh, I recognize you. Aren't you Miss Catherine from the Adventurer's Guild? Sounds like I'm in for some big business. Oh, is Catherine rich? Oh. Where did you learn this trade? I suppose you could say it all started with my dad. I love her voice. He's a mason by trade, but I picked up an interest in clay while apprenticing for him. After that, I began making pottery by myself in secret. In secret? Oh. Pottery is pretty sexy well. craft, you know? Although it's a pity that I'm no longer making much use of the knowledge provided to me by the Akasha. That's nice. You're making a living doing something you love. Hmm. So is your father still working as a mason? Oh, no, not anymore. A few years back, he oh. fell from a roof and broke his leg. Oh, no. Since he had already saved enough mora over all these years, he's just enjoying the retired life in Fort Ormos he's nowadays. He's gambling is what he's doing. We wish him peace and happiness in his retirement. He's gambling. Have someone in charge of logistics at the guild come by another day for some goods. We'll leave you to it. Take care now. <laughs> we all aren't all carrying our own goods. Easy. All our goods are sure to meet your every need. Look at those angry, su sus eyebrows. Sus as fuck. This should be our final stop. Sataria's always thinking of this restaurant when she's working at the academia. So she always comes by whenever she's out in the city. Needs food. You've really thought of everything. Need food. <laughs> Aww. Hi there. I feel like I've seen you down by the docks before. Huh? Sorry, I don't quite remember. This part of the music is so loud though, like, because I have the music busted up to 10. So this, this overdoes the volume a little bit. That's <laughs> right. But it's such a jam. Mm, mm. Is a jam. So good, so good, so good. This restaurant has a basement as well. <gasps> oh, basements are bad news. That's right. Bad it's news. It's usually open to patrons. Most of the time, employees use it for breaks or to hold private events. I see. 
Yes, that makes sense. Well, good luck with your studies, Miss Chishan. <laughs> Thank you so much. As long as I can make it into the academia as an official student, I'll be happy. I don't know if you really want to go there. It's just a lot, you know. Oh my god. I'm just wait I'm just waiting for Catherine to get stabbed over here. So was that everybody? Mm-hmm. Three familiar faces should be enough for Sataria. Uh what is the point of all the information we've collected? Nahida, you still haven't told us how you're planning to make Sataria face her problem. Sataria is already used to avoiding her. She's gonna I'm gonna get stabbed in front of her. And it's gonna make her See the wrong of her ways. That's what's gonna happen. Although it's all just a boatload of nonsense, the faith of her homeland may turn out to be Sataria's soft spot. Or my death. You want to take advantage of the guilt Sataria feels about her homeland. Guilty about Catherine's death. Okay, okay. And then Catherine's gonna get murdered. <laughs> Oh shit. Be as if you possess them yourself. Great. Oh, that is pretty convenient. But what does she have to do this? Can't you do it yourself? Yeah, lazy. Lazy. Well, I've been observing humans for a while. I've never been good at imitating them. Yeah, lazy. Hmm. You're not wrong. It's always been painfully obvious whenever you try to pass as Catherine. If it was at all possible, <laughs> I would have preferred to leave these people alone. But seeing how things are now, I probably should just accept it and push on. Yeah. All right. We're only doing this to help everyone, and we'll only be borrowing them for a little while anyway. All right. Then let's give it a go tomorrow afternoon. Just do it. Yeah, the music is so good. That over there, those that thing was creepy. <gasps> hey, what is up, my baby cakes? Aw, thank you for the raid. How's it going, guys? Oh my goodness, I just put my controller down. Oh. Good morning. Oh my god. Is that Gecko Gang? Is that what we're calling you guys? Ah, that's so cute, actually. That's adorable. Oh my gosh. Good morning. You were playing Animal Crossing? Oh my goodness. Brandon, can we get a shout out, please, and thank you? Thanks for the raid. How are you? I almost uh, wanted to convince JR to uh, let me go to the spa <laughs> this Thursday. And I saw your thing, but I, I figured that might be a little bit too soon <laughs> from me going. But I was like, 
No, sadly, like, not this Thursday, but I am going to try to go once a month. Uh, whenever my cycle decides to be a dick is basically going to be, like, my, my time to go. Um, basically, I've decided that's smart, right? That's smart. Uh, <laughs> when do I have to wait? I don't even know. Just, I'm just gonna wait. Oh shit! Oh my god, look! Oh, that's crazy. Is that the entrance to the desert? Oh, that looks like, that looks crazy. Oh my god, it totally is. Wow. Yo, what a sight. Oh my god. Jesus. I'm just waiting like four days. Why not? Thank you. Thanks for lurking. Thanks for raiding. Yeah, we're just, we're just trying to catch up on Genshin. Jesus, that's so cool. That's so cool. All right, I'm good. Wait. Wait until the following afternoon. Jesus Christ. Between 12 and 8. I suck balls. Oh. Oh, I'm fine. I'm fine. We got, like, two minutes. Yes! It's Bunny's birthday. There we go. It's Bunny's birthday today. Wee! La da 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 da. Yeah, we're just casually playing, catching up on things. Look at this, look at this jerk. Oh, here she comes. Satori is here. Let's quietly follow her. Once she starts talking to her acquaintances, we'll find a safe spot to begin possessing them. As for how we'll swear to our side. I'm so hungry. I'll leave that to you. I'm so hungry. Oops, oops. We're gonna possess some people today. We're gonna possess some people real quick. That's what we're doing today, apparently. Oh, I am not hiding very well, but that's okay. Whoa! Oh! Uh, if she can't force anything when it comes to love and besides everyone around me has a very different background and outlook uh, are you still listening to me what Mia? the hell was that of course i'm listening the hell was that you troubles with your love life right i heard everything you said what uh, okay then you just seemed a little distracted for a moment yeah did you not see my eyes rolling at the back of my head, the cat knows. Strange. The cats seem pretty worked up. Yeah. Is something wrong? I would be too. I always thought they were quiet, happy kitties. You know what? Oh, what are their names again? Oh shit. It's the second one. Ah, oh, that's right. They are just little darlings, aren't they? Hart and Mart. Ahem. So, which fortune do you want me to read for you today? Oh. You must have come for another echo of the divine voice of wisdom. Hmm. I'd like to get another reading on my love prospects, but to be perfectly honest with you, I feel like I've been a real mess recently. Yeah. A mess? Well, um, could you do a reading on how long it'll take me to finish my current project at work? I really <laughs> just want to get it over with. Paimon. I hear you. Paimon no is a mess. Problem at all. Uh, the gods will reveal the truth. Um... <laughs> oh my god. The gods are asking, Sataria, why haven't you gone home? Why haven't I gone home? Do the gods really know everything I've been thinking about? Yeah, bitch. Sataria, why don't you just go home? It's a demand now instead of a question. The gods seem to be truly upset. Snap! I'm sorry. I know I failed the gods. Please pass on my most sincere apologies and ask for their divine forgiveness. Oh my god. And if I may ask, Nabia, is there a specific god who's speaking to you right now? What an 
inconsiderate and naive huh? question. The god who is speaking to me is, of course, the wisest and mightiest of all. Oh shit! King Deshrek. King Deshrek? No wonder he would make such demand of me. Oh, wait a second. King the music Deshret is the best. Away a long time ago. Even though news of King Deshrek's resurrection has been spreading like wildfire, it's all just a misinformation campaign from the academia. How can King Deshrek still exist in real life? Huh? What insolence! I am King Deshrit's most loyal believer. Do you wish to refute his voice of wisdom? Oh snap! You oh, tell him. No. As a child of the desert, I am only reveling in his power upon learning that his divine glory has touched even this city. I will think very carefully about his demand of me. I'm sorry. I must go now. Oh, ah! <laughs> She's coming for us. Oh, she just ran off in a hurry. She looked pretty upset, too. Well done. Sataria didn't seem to suspect anything amiss. Yeah, she did. Oh, something she's been trying desperately to avoid. Did you not see that side eye? That must have shaken her to the core. That was some serious Aww, suspicion. Nikita. Right there. Like you understand human emotions really well after all. All I know are some abstract Haragata theories. But in any case, my time with you has shown a lot of them to be utterly useless. I'm still trying to make sense of everything. Anyway, enough of that. Let's hurry and catch up to Sataria. Thanks, Jason Kenny. I'm trying my best over here. Right on cue. Let's get ready to possess him right away. Wait, where am I going? Ah, oh, here we go. I'm just trying to get through Genshin. This has been a whole moment. Ah! It's okay. I just got caught up in something. Oh, actually, didn't you ask me to help you look for work? What kind of work were you looking for again? Gardening work. Oh, right. Your old man's craft. How could I forget? Speaking of, how's he doing? Is he feeling any better? Oh, that's good to hear. I've been thinking a lot about him. If I could get some more time off, I'd love to pay him a visit. Actually, while we're talking about him, is he still living in Port Ormos? Yeah. He's been retired there for a while. If you could find the time, please write him a letter. Let him know that recently, faith in King Deshret has taken root in Port Ormos and has begun to spread across Sumeru. He has a quick temper and has always been a devout follower of the Dendro Archon. I don't want him to get into a fight with those King Deshret believers because of a difference in beliefs. Yeah. Oh, so who are you siding with in all of this? The Academia or King Deshret? Yeah. Who? Uh, I... Who? <sighs> Who you I'm siding so with? Jealous of you. You were born a child of the desert, yet you chose to betray King Deshret, and now you spend all your time with those crooks from the Academia. Oh. Akim, you don't mean getting also called a believer of King Deshret? Out. What's so strange about becoming a believer of the wise King Deshret? In fact, aren't you the strange one? The one who still can't pick a side? C can't pick a side? Me? Damn, pick sides, bitch. <laughs> oh, I don't know how you'd be so good at this. <laughs> you really zeroed in on the issue and put it right in front of her. It might feel a bit overwhelming for Sataria. She's, get, she's getting she's over, getting the I'm truth sure today. Visit to her mind and explain everything. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's keep going. All right, next is this crazy hey, bitch over here. So, Shishan, have you noticed anything weird in the city lately? Like, as 
if someone was trying to preach to you about something. I've been spending all my time studying in the basement. Oh, right. Now, nah, bitch. Speaking of strange things. I've been in the basement. I celebrated the Subzerus festival so many times that I lost count. That was really weird. Wait. How could you be aware of that? Oh, snap. It'd be impossible. Nothing in the report indicated anything like that. Are you still failing to realize that the Academia's lowly tricks could never deceive all of Sumeru's citizens? Oh, snap! <sighs> Shishan, don't tell me that you've converted to King Deshret as well! Nah, I just think you're brat. What an absurd question. You make it sound like I should be ashamed for becoming a believer of King Deshret. Hi, baby! In reality, what should are you, you doing? It helps my likes position. here and there. You, who work side by side Thanks, baby. with the Academia. It looks good. People as nothing more than experimental did you make subjects? your own dressing or did you use please, the one that I already made? Please stop. Nice and light for you. It tastes delicious. Oh, thanks, baby. Ooh. He says it tastes delicious. She can no longer justify everything to herself. Hey, she's trying to talk to the gods. What should we do? Talk to the gods? It's the most important part of all. Quick, get ready. Mercenary, you're a member of the Core 30, correct? Please help me pass a message to the Matra right mm. The situation in the city is getting out of control. Please, try to remain calm, miss. Tell me what's happening in the city. Heretics are infiltrating the city. Oh, no. They've already converted many residents to their side. Heretics? What kind of heresy are you talking about? King Deshred. Many people I know have suddenly started believing in him. He's long dead. It's impossible. Miss Vitalia, nothing is impossible. <laughs> you know my name? King Deshret is immortal, and all who defy him will one day pay the price. You must face Oh my god! Vitalia. You tread a treacherous path, and the longer you ignore it, the tighter the academia's grasp on you will become. This is crazy. You will be ensnared. Child of King Deshret. Never forget that the desert that belongs to you lies elsewhere. What's so strange about becoming a believer of the wise King Deshret? In fact, aren't you the strange one? The one who still can't pick a side? What an absurd question. You make it sound like I should be ashamed for becoming a believer of King Deshret. Tataria, why haven't you gone home? Well, this is crazy. Bitch is gonna lose her mind. Uh, it seems that no matter where I run, I only keep finding more believers of King Deshret. I have to say, this is a familiar feeling. I've also been running from my guilt this whole time. Guilt over my part in the Sage's plans. And from ignoring the letters from the children of my homeland. No matter how much I make She's a bitch. ignore and get rid of it, the guilt always comes back. Mm hmm You won't necessarily lose your research opportunities by facing the truth. Besides, did you really want to conduct your research while carrying such heavy feelings of guilt? How do you know me so well? Are you truly just a believer of King Deshret? Or are you the god himself? That's not important. The mm. important thing is to pass judgment on the academia and its sages, and to correct their mistakes. If you could provide some assistance in this matter, perhaps it could serve as a form of atonement. I've actually never believed in the gods, but I've always believed Dang. in serendipity. Her appearance must be a fated opportunity for me to get out of this wretched situation. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Please tell me, what can I do for you? <clears throat> How much do you know about the sage's current activities? Everything, I'm one of them. <laughs> just one of the designers for the Mast Dream Harvest scheme, which is what happened around the Subzerus Festival. But I know very little about the full scope of the overall project. I'd assume that only staff with the highest clearance would have access to those confidential documents. I've just been working to meet the Grand Sage's specified requirements. However, there's something that's been really bothering me. That a scholar who was previously expelled has returned to the city. And even the sages are still quite wary of him. 
It's daddy. It's daddy. We will need to figure out the nature and the purpose of their work. Is there a way for us to get access to the confidential documents you mentioned? It should be possible if we're willing to take some risks. After all, it's daddy. I'm an assistant to the Grand Sage, and I've been working on many tasks outside of the project. One thing, though, I won't be able to transfer the documents to you through the Akasha once I get my hands on them. The Sages have always closely monitored all activities within the Akasha. Um, let me see. Uh, let's use the most primitive method. Send someone to pick up the documents Paper? tomorrow evening at the Academia entrance. Primitive the method. Entrance. You know. Be too conspicuous? Just an envelope, Don't maybe. Worry about that. <laughs> I assure you, this won't be a trap. I'm only suggesting this location because it'll draw mm. more scrutiny for me to leave the academia again. It'll be safest for me to distract the guards long enough to handle. We got a yummy little right. sandwich here that I'm gonna eat. So, Yum. For my wrongdoings? Um, that'll depend mm. on the judgment of the Dendril Archon. The Dendril Archon. That's right. Sandwich! The ones we have endangered. It's the God of Wisdom. She's also the one responsible for judging and guiding the scholars. Maybe it's time for me to find a god to believe in. Yeah, you godless wench. Peter predicted. <laughs> we managed to bring Sataria to our side. <laughs> The traveler's execution was ingenious. She's the one who deserves all the praise. Well, now that we've made plans to what is happening? the evening, all we can do is pray for Sataria's mission to go off without a hitch. No! Hey, but if we're going to pray to the gods, aren't we just praying to you? God of wisdom and guardian of the scholars? Mm -hmm. No, no. The truth is the true guardian of scholars. I've always believed that. Hey, let's meet again tomorrow evening at the Adventurer's Guild. Okay. Oh. Mm. Mm. Wait until tomorrow. God damn it. Nineteen. Following night or this night? Following night. We'll do following night. Is that the jade? More waiting. Mm. Ah. Yeah. Go. Oh. Jade. Yeah, because that's the chasm. Ooh, that's a pretty view. Damn. I really like the chasm. I think it's beautiful. <sighs> Wait, wait, what? <gasps> Catherine! Catherine, we're here! Oh, uh, you are the other Catherine, right? What do you mean? That's right. I suppose I'm the other Catherine in your mind. Other Catherine! Uh, mission tonight, so we need to protect identity. Yeah, God. Paimon's right. We cannot fully rule out the chance that the meetup tonight is just a trap. Mm, so good. If something were to happen, Hi. our existence may be the only trump card we'll be able to play. After all, the academia should still be unable to confirm the existence of my consciousness in the outside world. Yep, yep, exactly. Just what Paimon was thinking. Anyway, enough about that. Let's just make sure to be on our guard. Huh? What do you feel is off? <gasps> it's the middle of the night. Of course it's quiet. Guys! Ah! Paranoid, are you? I'm very paranoid. She's right. It really is a lot quieter than usual. If you look around, there seems to be fewer people on the streets. I'm not sure if this is the case for the entire city. I am very sus right now. Maybe it's just a coincidence. Maybe Sataria figured out a way to not only distract the guards, 
but also to get everyone to go to sleep early, just so we can exchange the documents in peace. Mm -mm. I also can't quite figure out why Sus. you're here a little while. But now that we're here, let's go ahead and meet her as we plan. Well, ah! as long as you're here with us, my mom feels a little safer. Super sauce. Oh no. There are many people out right now. Let's hope it'll be this quiet in front of the academia and that Sataria managed to distract all the guards. The sussiest of sus. My god, this is a climb. So tired. Oh. Oh, there's a lot of people there. Oh, sus. Super sus. What are all these people doing here at this hour of the night? Uh -huh. Ah, the triumphant hero returns at last. And to a rather spectacular welcome, even if I do say so myself. You're the outcast, expelled from the academia. Indeed I am. Although these days they tend to call me the doctor. Dottore! Ah! Dottore! For your researcher friend, she has already been taken into confinement. No! With some basic caution, she could have discovered the listening device on her person. Clearly, she lacks the degree of rigor expected of a true scholar. Look at his outfit! Oh my god! Oh, this is so creepy. The people of Samir City. What have you done to them? I simply made some minor adjustments to their Akasha terminals. Now they can deposit information directly into the subconscious. As you can see. All these lovely people now believe this traveler is a hero who has just saved the world. Whoa! <laughs> My experiment is a success. He is so and creepy. Now it seems they can no longer hold back their sheer adoration. No, what should we do? These are all just regular people. Just punch them in the throat. Yeah. They'll be fine. We need to get out of here. But that guy's a Fatui harbinger. We can't just leave. Nor can I abandon the people of Samaru. Catherine. Don't worry. We'll meet again outside of the city. I see. You appear to have overridden their mental faculties with your own consciousness. To possess such a power. All it is sideburned, though! Must be the God of Wisdom. Oh my God. Yo, Dottore! Yo, he's hot. He's pretty hot. Mm, mm. Mm. <laughs> this should be far enough. Hyman <sighs> needs to catch your breath. Yeah, of course he is. Look at that. Look at that, ma'am. Okay. Woo! Masks. Ah. Who cares about Nahida? What about Catherine? <laughs> I know. What about my boy Scaramouche? <laughs> he called himself the doctor. Remember, Tainari told us about him. Sataria did say that someone who once got expelled from the academia came back recently. And that even the sages are weary of him. Yep. Sounds like she must have been talking about the doctor. Because he's a creep. Yeah. Now that the doctor's in the picture, 
but no longer just dealing with the academia. They're in cahoots with the Fatui. But what are the Fatui after this time? Another Gnosis? Yeah, things would be a lot easier with Nahida's help. Nahida said we'll meet again outside of the city. But we can't just keep waiting around, right? Uh, you mean... Oh, right! Wasn't he invited by the sages to work on some project when we were staying with him in the Vidya Forest? Yeah. That has to be the same project. Even though he turned it down at the time, he might still know something. Mm. There's no time to lose. Let's go to Gundarva Bill. I fucking hate that name. I hate that name. It's so dumb. <laughs> Brandon. Don't you dare. <laughs> like, I wish it was just called Gadarva. Let's go to Gadarva. Let's go to Gadarva. Let's go to the town of Gadarva. Like, what the hell is Gadarvaville? Ville. Why is there a ville at the end? Nonsense. 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 We know it's a village. Doesn't mean you have to say Vil. It's dumb. I'm gonna climb this tree. Wee. Um, I am not going to the right place. I'm here. Where's my bro? Hold it right there. Wow. A blonde haired traveler and a floating fairy. Shit, he just called it her a fairy. Right. Take a look around. You've fallen right into our trap. <laughs> Are you mercenaries from the Core of 30? Did you come here to arrest us? Core of 30? We're nothing like those government black. Yeah, you tell them. Don't even get scraps for their work. We are an elite wow. brigade that oh. commands the highest oh. commission rate in all of Sumeru. Oh. We're here on the orders of a client known only as the Outcast. The Outcast? An Outcast from the Academia? So like the Doctor? Why the Doctor just sent the Fatui after us. Still wasting time on idle chit-chat. We'll shut you up soon enough. You just shut... Sh you, uh, you're Listen here. One with nature. This is order. Boom, ba -doom, boom, 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 Yeah, I made her dendro. Is that what elite mercenaries are like? I have like no other dendro. Yeah. Looks like we'll have to keep our guards up. <laughs> That's why she's in my party. But this doctor guy seems like a pretty tough opponent. He knew exactly where to set up an ambush. Did he predict that we would try to find Kainari? Ugh. Going up against smart people is tough. So tough. Anyway, let's keep going. So tough. Ugh, God, stupid smart people. I like how I was over. I like how I was already like over here. Not like Sumeru City is on the other side, and that's clearly the way I would come. Lol. 
Okay. Oh. This should be Doggyville. There's so many dogs here. This should be called Doggyville. Doggy Doggyvilles. All I heard was mushrooms. Doggyville. Stupid doctor. Finding it harder to complete more intricate tasks. As a result, Master Tainari has taken me off the patrol schedule. He will only allow me to stay here and coordinate other people's tasks. You've been demoted. Speaking of Tainari, did he go off on patrol? We're here to talk to him. Oh, Master Tainari? He just left the Avidia Forest a little while ago. Leave the Avidia Forest? He even turned down the Sage's invitation! I thought it was weird too. Master Tainari always prioritizes his hmm. work as a forest watcher above everything. He almost never leaves his post. He left in a hurry this time though. Uh oh, let's go! He found out that he left through a message he left behind. Oh shit! He also made sure to delegate all his tasks using a schedule. <sighs> to leave in such a hurry? I guess he had something urgent to take care of. Hmm. Master Tainari originally studied in the Amorta Darshan of the Academia. And part of CI is something like the Amorta's research base. Many rare shrubs and grasses have been planted there for research. I know that before he became a forest watcher, Master Tainari once spent a long time conducting research of part of CI. A research base, huh? Gotta wonder what kind of research Tainari just decided to work on all of a sudden. Oh, we don't have a lot of time. To the research oh, base! Let's go look for him at Party CI. Let's go. Uh, don't worry. You're good. You're good. See you later, Colin. Bye. <laughs> Alright, where the fuck am I going? Have I been there? Ah, oh, shit! Okay, uh, ooh, dang, okay, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go, we're, we're gonna go to the, we're gonna go here. <laughs> Adventure! And we're gonna go, oh! Have I not got, oh, I have not gotten this, lol. Okay, we're gonna go, first of all, we're gonna go here. Wee! Hey, Dale. I'm not gonna build her. I always, I always miss, mess those two up. All right, so we're gonna go. We're gonna wait. Oh, we're gonna go here. Thing. It's got music. Nice right way. Oh, Sealy. Is it with the little Korox? I bet it's with the Korox. Korok life. This guy over here is trying to. Take me off path. It makes sense this with the Koroks. Huh. Yeah, that's crazy. And you know what I thought was crazy dumb long? Is the, um, Teretsu quest or whatever? Well, this is creepy. Uh. What? Solidify. <laughs> I 
Do I? What? What? This is very creepy. What do I have to go in here? Where's my path? I don't want to stray from the path right now. I don't want to do it. I just want to take a path. I want to. Oh my god. I don't wanna, okay, I'm going to go this way. I don't want to be here. You're in for a little shot. Yeah. Oh! I will have order. Try not to enjoy this too much. I don't wanna. Yeah, I don't want to. That much this mushroom's cute though. Wow, sir. Faithful offering. What? Sir. Follow the wind. I want to follow the wind. Okay, we're going to go this way over here. Cuz that area is creepy as fuck. Where's my dude? Where'd he go? Dude. Where's dude? The, uh, that mushroom is getting wrecked. Where's my dude? Oh, is it uh, something to do with these things? God damn it. I'm sorry. I did not mean to hit you. Whee. I'm just trying to find a path, you know? Okay, we're gonna go over here. We're, I'm just trying to find a path. This is pretty. Oh, oh, oh no, I'm getting distracted. That's gotta be in there. It's gotta be in there, right? Oh, it's there, perfect. Yo, this is gorgeous. Try Electra on the mushrooms? Oh, mother of God. Listen, I'm already, I'm already away. You're too slow. <laughs> it's okay. Too slow. Oh. Mushrooms in the tree. Mushrooms in the tree. Where is it? It's below me, right? All right, this way. Shit. Oh my God. <gasps> oh, I'm almost there. Okay, we're gonna go. We can make it. Oh, hell yeah, we can. Of course they grow on trees. Duh! Where do you think they grow? Oh, 
I don't want to fight these guys. They're so cute. Look at them. Time to go. Ooh. Oh, purple. Like it's lavender, basically. Yo, what is this? Oh, this is pretty. In the ground? No. Sometimes. But they're fungus. Oh. Oh, shit. What is this? Oh, my God. Is it Catherine? <gasps> Catherine, you're not, you shouldn't be here. Catherine, you shouldn't be here. Hey, this was supposed to be a touching reunion, but you're ruining the moment. Sorry. Actually, it's very smart of the traveler to be wary of me right now. After all, the doctor has shown that his technology can apparently even control human minds. Plus, it's not like we could have known what happened after we split up, and I was facing the doctor by myself. Even a pool of stagnant water after a torrential storm oh. <laughs> occasionally pass as a patch of sky. <gasps> that girl was like, nope, I'm not touching I that. Only the real Nikita could come up with such an obscure analogy. Huh? But I wasn't trying to win your trust or anything. All I wanted was to clarify my point. It's very oh, pretty. Point now. Please, Nikita, tell us more about what happened. Are those poor people all right? What happened? When you left. I was still in the middle of restoring everyone's minds. Thankfully, when the doctor mentioned depositing information into the subconscious, he didn't mean engraving information into their minds. Instead, he did something closer to creating hallucinations. That was still within my power to fix. Uh. I managed to finish my restorations and mind jump away from him just as he was about to capture me. Oh, what a relief. Doctor sure pulled out some hidden cards, but good thing we had Nahida with us. I wouldn't be relieved just yet. I gave away my true identity when I restored everyone's minds, which means we've lost another one of our trump cards. Also, the doctor is already an expert at modifying Akasha terminals. Maybe it's only a matter of time until he captures my consciousness inside the Akasha. Would that mean you'd no longer be able to jump between minds? Then how do we stop him? He's still at the academia, so it's possible he already started messing with the Akasha. Ugh. We need to hurry. He's toying with us. What a nasty piece of work. Plus, the doctor's combat ability alone is apparently enough to make him worthy of being number two of the Fatuni. We shouldn't give up hope just yet. Let's try to find another way to attack this problem. <laughs> Actually, Nikita, how did you know we were trying to get to Party CI? Have you been waiting for us? Yes, I have. I can see the Traveler's elemental energy, so I deduced your destination by looking at the direction you were moving in. You didn't come here for sightseeing, right? Did you find any leads? We're looking for a scholar we know. His name is Kainari, and the sages once tried to reach out to him. Why don't you come inside with us and see what we can find? Okay, let's just hope we won't get him into trouble. Uh... Ooh. Yeah, this is very pretty. But the thing's over there. Oh shit, I'm going where I don't want to go because... I just want to look at that. I want to get this first. I'm going to go get this first. I want to unlock the mappies. Stupid. 
stupid Korok. Crazy budget Korok. Time to go. There is something floating in the sky over there. Ooh. Ooh. Whoa, this is creepy. Damn, there is a lot going on here. Monument. Jesus Christ. There's something floating in the sky. Over there. What? I mean, there's that. That's crazy. But over there. Look, straight ahead. Is this... All right. Oh, look at the forest. Oh, that's so pretty. Dang. Dang. Okay. Cool. All right. We're going back. Dang. That's, that's sexy. Holy moly. That's, this is a good looking place. Oh, well, I don't want her mushrooms, so. I, uh, need Scaramouche. Scaramouche. No, I'm not going to level her up. No, I, I, no, no, no. Nah, no. I'm still waiting. I'm waiting. I'm waiting to see who else comes out who go. is Dendro. We have Snake Doctor Man is Dendro. He's still not out. Uh, isn't, isn't New Daddy also Dendro? He's a Dendro. Alhai, Alhai, Alhaiman? Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Baiju is also Dendro. Yeah. He's Dendro. That was like the first Dendro we saw was his element. Everyone's like, shit, he's Dendro. Traveler? It is you. What what hi. What up, Queen? It's a Pija. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, we'll what see. A pleasant surprise. It's so nice to see the two of you again. Who's this? He's a scholarly man. Who's he's this? You got other friends? She was still training in the, uh, what's it called? Satyavada life? Oh, I see. That's right. We're old friends. Uh, I mean, not really, right but time. whatever. Ever since I've come here, hardly anyone has even talked to me. Papasia, you're way too excited about this. Actually, for you to leave the Avidia Forest means... <gasps> you're not in training anymore? Wait, no. Did you already finish your training and reach Pari? <laughs> Oops, sorry. What do you think? My consciousness has already managed to make contact with the divine. Uh, no, he just like, okay. I'm the divine and I don't know who you are, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> it's so exhilarating to share this sublime joy with others at long last. When my consciousness made contact with the gods. Ah, uh, what a supreme and unparalleled experience that was. Uh, ma'am, are you okay? That sounds incredible. Uh, you right. need help. Actually, please wait. I haven't forgotten my promise to you. That was kind of creepy. Remember? Just a tad. I promised to help you understand what you saw from Ermansoul once I gained deeper insights. My current self has not only gained true insight, but I can even help you establish a direct connection to the consciousness of the divine. I don't know if I want that. You seem a little sus right now, ma'am. You, you can do that? I've never heard of anything like that, but 
If you want to give it a try, I'll do my best to protect your consciousness during the process. Hold on. I brought some spirit Borneo with me. This is still a crucial part of the ceremony. Drugs. Uh, we're using that incense again? Drugs. All right now. Hold my hand. Drugs. I'll help you establish a pathway to connect your consciousness. Okay. Drugs. You ready? No, I'm not. I'm not trying to get high over here, woman. But okay. Shit, everyone in this country is messed. We're gonna go meet Jesus. I've, I'm standing right beside Jesus. Like, this woman is off. It took three betrayals for me to finally understand. Oh, is that Sino? The world is just an elaborate tapestry of life. No, it's Scaramouche! Oh, sorry. My fury <laughs> will never be quelled. <laughs> oh my god! The first to betray me was a god. Ah! My creator. My mother. No! Valuing strength above all. She saw no worth in me and I was discarded. I was a human. Oh, it's him. My family. My friend. Oh, Scaramouche. He, he saw me as an abomination. But why? The third was one exactly like me. A hope for the future. A fledgling barely out of the nest. Powerless before his mortality, he broke his promise to me. Wait, what? What happened? Humans, they can't be trusted, and the gods fill me with pure loathing. What happens? So good riddance to the boy. <laughs> I denounce the world and laugh in its face. <laughs> My chest will never again be defiled by worldly filth. I will scrub away every last trace of human emotion. Then it will be empty. A blank slate. What is happening? And ready to receive a supreme gnosis. Brimming with pure divinity. <laughs> there is no need to fear. The pain will be brief. Oh, look at him. He's so good. Oh. oh, oh, he's so good. Well, that was that was a trip and a half. Thanks for that, ma'am. Loved that. What was that? The fuck? Did we actually just see the Balladier's memories? Everything matches what we know. Wait, so Scaramouche cracked because a friend died <laughs> from an illness? She's taken by a scaramouche too. I understand. I understand. <laughs> She's got a crush. Ah. Only that which beats within my chest wasn't a filthy mortal heart. Oh. Oh, great and merciful God! Please grant me forgiveness and salvation. Do you understand now? I'm afraid this is no peri porno life, but rather. Ah! Ew! Why are you so mean to me? Why is everyone hiding from me? Cause you cracked, woman. I found divine wisdom. Shouldn't I receive praise and honor? Haven't I uncovered that light in the darkness? She's 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 a uh, she likes Scaramouche a lot. That's how she's a crazy fan girl. <laughs> Crazy fan girl. Already lost my mind. Don't worry, Scaramouche does that to people. It's fine. Okay, what? Uh, so like he kept help being failed by humans, yeah, and human promises failing to live up to fruition, and then the gods also turn on him, so he wants to become better than all of them. She's a crazy Scara fan, exactly. She's a crazy fan. We're all crazy fan girls. Don't you worry. It's fine. He's up next, babe. He'll come home soon to you. Don't worry. Wait, something isn't right. 
Don't get murdered, please. Yep, here we go. Well, damn. Oh, Jesus. Yes! Get wrecked! Problems. <laughs> Run! <laughs> oh. Okay, we finally lost him. Oh, oh! <laughs> Red, are you okay, Nikita? Wait, no. Something feels different. <gasps> You're back! Oh, the traveler's back? What? Sir. Nahida was controlling your body for a while. Seemed like she jumped over to you as an emergency measure right before the Catherine puppet was destroyed. After that, Catherine! <laughs> and came over. He helped us defeat the mercenaries and then he ran with us all the way here. What? You swapped places? You mean your consciousness also went into Nahida's body? I never imagined that an individual's consciousness could be transferred around like this. Had I not seen it with my own eyes, I would have never believed it. I don't think this can be achieved with current human technology. She's a god, also, sir. While we were running, the consciousness in your body told me to pass on a message. She said, The doctor has found a way to trap my consciousness, so I can't journey with you anymore. No! But even in a moonless night, a shower of starlight can still drown out illusions and lies. <gasps> no! He is trapped in the sanctuary of Sura's daughter for good this time. Was that message all she left for us? It's pretty vague. No, it's not. Oh, that makes sense. <laughs> Since the doctor captured her, she won't be able to say anything without him knowing. She's being extra careful. Even in a moonless night, a shower of starlight can still drown out illusions and lies. Illusions and lies are from that alchemical divination at the Subzeru's festival. Didn't Nahida use a starlight analogy before? It had something to do with Sataria. Oh, that makes a lot of sense. Huh. Do you think Nahida was telling us to go find help in the desert? But to the desert! With us anymore. Paimon, you said Sanctuary of Suristana. Does this mean that this Nahida you're talking about, the consciousness who was occupying the traveler's body, is the Dendro Archon? Yeah, bitch. Uh, your guess is correct, but the situation's a bit complicated, so it's. Tainari's about to fangirl. Right now. That's all right. A scholar's curiosity doesn't need to be appeased right away. As for Did the complicated does? nature of the situation, the hell are you two smoking? Tainari, you know exactly what I we're smoking. Time with you, and it looks like the Dendro Archon's also on your side, so I trust you. Thank you, Tainari. Oh, actually, we came here to ask you a question. What do you know about the project that the sages have been working on? Ah, that. While I was indeed invited to join that project. The sages were always secretive about its scope and goals, so I eventually declined. 
All I know is that that yep. project has something to do with the restoration of Hermanstall. Huh? Did you see something when you were in Nahida's body? What? What? Do you have any evidence? Yeah, I know. I, I saw it for myself, bro. That explains why Hypatia's symptoms were different from those of the other scholars who went mad. <laughs> it's because she made contact with the consciousness of a new god who is still in the process of being. She's born. only half mad. Know. You know, she's only like did half you mad. Force because of Hypatia? I did. I noticed Hypatia's mental anomaly. She's only but half crazy. She's not quite there yet, yet, you know? I secretly took her to Pardee's Theod. And began searching for a way to return her to not her not a big deal everyone else has gone mad place, normally like we don't care about those people been taken by the matra to the desert doomed to a life of exile at Aru everyone Bay. else is there now you know you mention it I knew the academia has never thought particularly highly of lesser Lord Kusanali but yeah they hate I her bro still didn't expect